Are you ready to start a new business in Colorado but don't know where to start? Don't worry, it's easy. I will give you a step-by-step -step guide to registering an LLC in Colorado, which will include preparing the proper forms, correctly naming your LLC, registering your LLC, and other crucial details involved in the whole process. Make sure you stick with me until the end as I will give you access to my free business startup success checklist. Part of this complete guide will reveal my trustworthy registered agent who will help set up your LLC for free and save you time and money. Step 1. Name your LLC. Your LLC name has to be unique not just for legal reasons. Your business name will reflect your brand. It either has to be catchy or easy to remember. Just Google Business Entity Records Colorado Secretary of State or click on the link in the description box. This page contains all the businesses registered in the state of Colorado. Type in the business name you want to use. If there are no matches found, that means that you're free to use it. If it shows a list of duplicates, you have to use a better name variation or think of another one that no one else is using. Next, and this is important, go to www.namechecker.com. This tool will help you check if your business name has a domain name available and other social media pages and platforms. You don't want to register an LLC name that someone is already using online. That will limit your marketing and online sales opportunities. You'd think that naming a company would be easy, but you really have to put more thought into it. Important tip. Come up with an LLC name that will present well online and be relevant enough to use as online tags and domain names. This is important so online users can find you when they search for online products and services they need. Online users have many choices and they get bored quickly, so make sure that your LLC name can get their attention. No matter how good your products are, you will have a hard time selling if people don't click on your page. Imagine this. If online users are to choose between these two coffee shops, the coffee shop or the groovy brew shop, people are more likely to click on the groovy brew shop and buy from them. Your business name really matters. Before I go off topic, Colorado laws also require adding LLC or limited liability company to your registered business name. You can't use terms like corporation, corp, inc, or anything else that could mislead people about your business type. Any word or phrase that can confuse your LLC with a government agency is also strictly prohibited. Using words like bank or attorney on your business name would require more paperwork. Adding these words would also require you to have a licensed professional as part of your LLC. You also need to reserve the name with the Secretary of State. This will ensure that no other company can use your LLC name for 120 days. It only costs $25 to fill out the Colorado LLC name reservation request form. Download it using the link in the description box. You can thank me by liking and subscribing to this channel. Step 2. Choose a registered agent. The state of Colorado requires all LLCs to choose a registered agent who will be the point of contact to receive important business documents like tax warnings, subpoenas, and other official papers. While it is okay to appoint yourself or trusted friends and family members, I recommend a professional registered agent that has the knowledge and experience needed to manage potential issues and protect your business at all costs. This will get some responsibilities off your hands and allow you to focus on running a successful business. The registered agent must also be available during business hours and must have a physical address to receive official mail. A PO box will not suffice. A registered agent's address is shown on public records so you don't want to use your home address. I recommend you use a professional service like AnytimeMailbox.com for this purpose. Their services include physical addresses you can use, scanning your mail, and forwarding them to your home or business address for a small fee. Why bother with the small details when you can have a professional service like Anytime Mailbox to do the work for you? I have a special link in the description box below. Hiring a registered agent is not expensive if you are worried about the cost. You can get a registered agent for free if you pay for a service to register your LLC. I highly recommend Zen Business. Their service can help you register your LLC and provide a registered agent as part of their package at no extra cost. They also provide a dashboard where you can keep a close track of all the documents and correspondence that the agent receives. Believe me, all the easy to use tools will save you plenty of time and hassle. Feel free to check out my special link on Zen Business if you're interested in signing up for their service. Step 3. File the Colorado LLC Certificate of Formation. One of the most crucial steps in this process is filing the Colorado LLC Certificate of Formation. You can do this through the Business Entities Division under the Secretary of State and the Office of the Judge of Probate. It usually costs $50 if you're a domestic LLC and $100 if you're a foreign LLC. 
What's the difference? A domestic LLC means that you're a Colorado resident who wants to build a business in Colorado, while a foreign LLC means that you live outside Colorado but would like to build a business or start a franchise of an existing business in Colorado. You can submit your form along with a name reservation form through mail or submit them online. The process can take up to two weeks for mail and in-person submissions. So if you want to expedite the process to three days, you can pay an extra $150. Online filings are approved immediately. If you find information like this useful for your business, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, comment below and I'll help you out. Step 4. Prepare an operating agreement. The state of Colorado does not require LLCs to have an operating agreement, but it is a good business practice to have one. Having a document that will guide all company members, especially co-owners, directors, managers, and even new hires is always better. An operating agreement outlines every critical process that needs to be followed, especially regarding big picture issues. These issues may include but are not limited to allocation of earnings and losses in case the company is dissolved, decision-making process and voting rights, transfer of membership interests, profits and losses, and any other concerns that impacts the business overall. This is why using Zen Business to set up your LLC is great. They will help you with these three previous steps for free. And if you decide to use Zen Business to set up your LLC, they can also help you with the operating agreement document for only $125. This will save you a lot of time and will ensure that you have all your correct documents ready for the registration process. Writing an operating agreement is not easy. I believe it's better to let the experts do it for you. Step 5. Obtain an EIN. Next, we need to get an EIN for your LLC. An EIN or Employer Identification Number is a federal tax ID issued by the IRS to your company. Your EIN is used by the IRS to readily identify your firm on tax filings. All Colorado firms pay a business privilege tax and the state requires you to have an EIN to file. You may also be required to provide your EIN when opening a bank account or applying for municipal permits and licenses. Obtaining an EIN is a slightly longer process compared to the previous steps. I'm sure you know anything to do with the IRS is confusing and tedious. You need to have complete knowledge of your LLC all the way down to small critical information regarding vehicular assets and federal excise taxes. This is another reason why working with Zen Business is beneficial for you and your business. For an additional fee of only $99, they will take care of this step for you so you can focus on important matters like planning and running the actual business. You can click on this link in the description below to get access to Zen Business One of a Kind offer, a free starter package with services such as preparing and filing your articles of organization. You only have to pay the state filing fees of $1, which you would have to do anyway if you choose a DIY option. But looking at the bigger picture, all other companies will still charge for their service fee on top of the state filing fees. But Zen Business does not collect this fee. I do recommend Zen Business 199 Pro Package to everyone if you have the money as it will save you a lot of time and hassle. The Pro Package includes faster filing, operating agreement, and a worry-free compliance where they will help submit your annual reports. For an even faster 1-2 to two day processing time with all the bells and whistles, you can go up to the... 299 premium plan which also provides you with a domain name a website and a business email this would be perfect for a business that want to have that online presence there are still a few more steps to complete your business setup however it may drag this video out too long so i have condensed everything into an actionable step-by-step -step business startup success checklist that you can grab from here for free now if you have decided to start with zen business i recommend you watch this next video However, if you're happy to do it all yourself, then this video is the next one you need to watch. And I'll see you in the next video.